Hey, what's going on everybody? In this video, we are taking a look at the entirety of the pack contents in the latest NFL All Day drop that is coming on Thursday, May 26th. So in this one, a ton of new debut moments from weeks 1 through 12. And a lot of great players in here. For this one, I put together this spreadsheet that I'll get more into a little later in the video. But I broke down every single player that's in this pack drop and working on the price predictions right now and also ranked them right here in order of who I think is going to be the most valuable from top to bottom. So obviously the legendaries at the top and then the rares and then your commons, but a lot of good moments in this pack actually. So kind of excited for this drop. I think I might actually get in on it. So if you didn't watch my last video on my strategy for NFL all day in the off season, definitely check that one out. It'll be linked in the description so you can check that one out after this video. It also will probably be the end card at this video uh, after the end of this video. So definitely check that one out. But the pack's $59. Didn't expect it to be that much, but there's a ton of good moments in here. So let's just take a look. So on their spreadsheet, they call it the Rewind Catalyst and $59, but you get four moments in this pack and 25,000 packs are available. So pretty decent chance of hitting on one of these, but look at some of these players in here. JJ Watts, debut rare, Derrick Henry's debut, a Jalen Hurts, uh, Justin Jefferson rare, a Justin Herbert common, and a Micah Parsons debut as well so a lot of pretty good moments in this pack and you could take a look at a lot of these on evaluate market i'm not sure if they actually have them up yet completely but you could see derrick henry here if you type them in that they start to pop up and i'm sure, sure soon the video highlight will be up here and the mint count and all of that on evaluate market so definitely check that out before the pack drop if you're seeing this before the pack drop comes out to check out the moments beforehand. But taking a look at these moments, you could see I got Mac Jones at the top. It is a rookie moment here, obviously, and minted out of just 49. So basically how I came up with all these prices, I actually came up with all the prices for the members of the channel. So definitely click that join button or top of the link in the description to join up. And I'll be posting this immediately after this video is published with all my price predictions for all of these players and all these moments in here. But essentially how I came up with these was I found a comparison on the site. So I took Zach Wilson. It is a rookie moment, not debut, legendary, also out of 49. And his is 29.90. So Mac Jones, I think just a little less sought after. So I went with 2,600 for Mac Jones. So that's basically how I came up with these again. Rashad Penny is $890 for a legendary with no badges. I think Joe Mixon could come in right under 1000 compared to Rashad Penny. So that's how basically I came up with all these prices. One of the most sought after besides the legendary is going to be a rare J.J. Watt right here. And it is his debut. So I think this one's going to be worth a good amount. And it's minted out of just 999 compared to some of these others that are 1200 So... This one I think is going to definitely be a good hit. And then also you got another debut in your rares. And then some others that aren't so good like a like a Cordell Patterson and Michael Pittman or Mooney. But then you get Jalen Hurd should be pretty good. CeeDee Lamb should be good. Uh, Cook and Bosa also. And Bosa is only out of 699. And then we get into the commons. Justin Herbert should be a really good common to pull. I think my price prediction on him was right around 40 to 45 dollars for a herbert common with no badges but then look at all these debuts we are getting here crazy amount of debuts in the commons they keep going down here and a lot of rookies as well so uh, another comparison i left in here for the video that i'm gonna fill in everything else uh, when i post it is we got a josh palmer on the Chargers, same rookie debut moment. It's just 11 bucks. So like Kadarius Tony had a little higher, more sought after than a Josh Palmer. Another comparison here, Mark Andrews, 
$13 for a common debut. So I thought Darren Waller would come in right about the same price as an Andrews. But also definitely some good ones. Derrick Henry, Carson Wentz, both debut moments. And Wentz is only out of 8,000. So some pretty sought-after moments here. Uh, and I think that this could be probably one of the best like common base set kind of packs that aren't from the playoffs or the divisional round or Super Bowl or whatever. I think these one this could be the best even though it is fifty nine dollars. So I actually did all these price comparisons predictions and came up with an estimated value on this pack of fifty six dollars if you do indeed get all comments. It's basically just the average out of every single price prediction I made times four and that gets you the estimated value when you hit all commons and 93% of these moments in this pack are common so it's going to be a pretty high likelihood that you hit all commons but if you get it back basically an average pack is what the EV is going to be $56 so a little lower than 59 but if you do hit a rare the estimated value jumps up to almost $112 which is nearly double of what the pack cost is going to be but you can see there's just not that many rares out there so while there is 118,000 total common moments in these packs for rares if we just quickly add up the sum of these there's only 8,000 rares so the chance is just a lot more slim of pulling a rare but if you do it's going to be a pretty EV positive pack here almost guaranteed no matter what you pull and then I didn't even calculate the regent legendary because it's such a low chance of hitting that I think it's usually like 1% chance or less even of hitting a legendary I mean there's total legendaries in here is 207 so it's gonna be an insanely small chance of hitting a legendary moment all right guys so all in all if you open a pack the average Based on my calculation prediction, it should be about $56. So you're going to lose $3 on an average pack. If you have an above average pack, even hitting all commons, there's a chance that you could make money on this. But it doesn't seem like it's going to be, for the most part, a positive pack value. But there's definitely a lot of good stuff to get pulled. If you want to take a risk, try to go for a rare or a legendary, that's definitely viable in here. If you hit any rare or legendary, it's obviously going to be... Uh, probably close to double your pack value or even a lot more if you hit a legendary so just my thoughts um, if you guys want to get in on the spreadsheet join up on the channel and the membership I did a giveaway there last month for a top shot moment planning on doing another one this upcoming month uh, maybe even two a month in there and also you get access to these spreadsheets so so if you win one of the giveaways it automatically pays for that month plus another basically um, and I know the people in there are enjoying it already so definitely consider joining up subscribe to the channel if you like the video also give it a like and I'll catch you guys in another one